warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, honorable judges, member of the opposing team, moderator, and audience. My name is Julia Pulemustari, as member of government from Hangtua University. Today, our motion is about this house will impoverish characters. We, as the government team, absolutely agree with this motion. Ladies and gentlemen, how many people suffer from corruption? How many characters that still have a good life out there? Corrupter here refer to the corruptors who have stolen billions of money or a huge amount. In reality, corruptors are more afraid of poverty than prison. Even they can spend money from corruptions in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give you my rebuttal. The opposition team said that we already have the law to give the corruptors deterrence effect. But despite the law, will not giving the corruptors deterrence effect, as we can see in the reality. So, we have to strengthen the law for the corruptors, such as impoverish them. The argument about elementary right is also not relevant because the speaker from the government has been stated about what kind of impoverishment that will be given to the corruptors. The opposition team has started about the rehabilitations that will be given to the corruptors, but they didn't explain what kind of rehabilitations how long it takes and who's responsible for these actions if the partners doesn't come in. This statement described that opposition team doesn't think about the exact deterrence effect to the partners and the punishment that they suggest is not effect enough. The opposition team also lack of information, fact and example to give. So, that the argument is not relevant enough. That's why we as the closing government still support the motions. Thank you. Good afternoon, honorable judges, member of the opposition team. Moderator and audience, my name is Wulan Yolanda Safika Harjo, as government whip from Hantua University. Today, our motion is about this house will impoverish corruptors. We as the government team absolutely agree with this motion. So, ladies and gentlemen, corruption is the act of public officials, both politicians and civil servants, as well as other parties involved in the act, who entrasonably and illegally abuse the public trust vested in them for unilateral gain. And corruption is performance to corruptor. Corruptor cause a slowdown in the countries. Economic growth, disgrace investment, increased poverty, and increased income inequality in nation. Corruptor can also reduce the level of happiness of the people in a country. And corruptor is an act the, that is very detrimental to the state. So, next, ladies and gentlemen, like what's already be, have been talking about that first, government have delivered if we need the justification from the corruptor. And we need give 150% to the corruptor of payback as compensation to a nation with the same story. And the money that the characters take is the money of the civilians or community. We must give the right to very character who takes away the rights of the people and by impoverishing them. And it's expected to be a deterrent effect so that characters don't repeat the same of mistake. But opposition team say we can provide rehabilitation to character by keeping their elementary right. It is not an effective option. 
Then how is the state finance? How any state money that has been taken away? And rehabilitation and opposition team did not explain the characteristic for rehabilitation. And rehabilitation is not the way out. And opposition team delivered, we already have the law and it's fine. But with the law going so far, is it good? Is it the thing? And for example, as it now, uh, there are still many characters who have escaped the certainty of the law. The arguments that have been presented by the opposition team are false and don't correspond to reality. And the opposition team argument are relevant to the motion because the lack of evidence and not efficiency. So, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable judges, the, the inclusion is with the long-term occurrence of corruptor, we should have broken the chains or making corruptors go into poverty, not just by stuck at the punishment at now. We must further emphasize punishment by impoverishing, impoverishing corruptors as the deterrent effect. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, that enough we ask the closing government team and we are still support this motion. Thank you.